Hi friends, this video clip will give you an idea on fabric engineering. In fabric engineering, the first part to learn is about weight, fabric weight. How to calculate the fabric weight? How to decide the fabric weight? How to control the fabric weight? Okay, and fabric weight and its importance in textile industry, garment industry, that is clothing industry. Very, very important factor fabric weight. For any end use, for any garment design, for any type of garment production, or even any industrial application, or even any type of application that include fabric must have this factor fabric weight. All end uses are depends upon this fabric weight. By considering fabric weight only, the end application will be decided. Or end application will be decided based on the fabric weight or fabric weight will be decided based on the end application. Okay. Now, we will go for fabric calculations. In textile industry, especially weaving mill, the yarns spun or filament yarns are woven together, interlaced together to make fabric. This video clip discussing on only woven fabric, not knitted fabric. Fabric weight on fabric weight related to woven, not knitted. Okay, let it will take another class. In weaving mill, the fabric weight is decided or in fabric product development to develop a new fabric, there is an adjustment of some factors which are influencing fabric weight. Okay, what are those factors? See this one here. First, you know, fabric first is ends per inch ends per inch second factor fix per inch third factor warp count fourth factor weft count Next, fifth one is crimp, crimp percentage, other than this is also a width of the fabric, width, that is finish width, there are, uh, there are, grayish width is there, finish width is there, Cuttable width is there. Now in this calculation, we are taking width. I am considering finished width. Not grey width or uh, cuttable width. Okay. See how these factors influence on fabric weight. Okay. And second important factor is the measure the fabric weight is expressed in grams per square meter grams per square meter that is in metric mks system and ounce per square yard ounces per square yard 
that is in British history. Okay. See, grams per weight is measured in grams per square meter. Okay. GSM. This is called GSM. This is ounce per square yard. Okay. In fabric mill or in garment warehouse or wherever the fabric marketing or fabric sourcing is taken place. There, the first word in the fabric seller or fabric purchaser is GSM. What is the GSM of fabric? What is the GSM of fabric? Okay. This GSM of fabric expresses for fabric weight. Okay. The expression grams per square meter itself indicating that weight of the fabric is taken into consideration only for square meter. What is the square meter? Yeah. See. This is one square meter of the fabric. This is one square meter of the fabric. In weaving mill, fabric is oven, processed and packed in thousands of meters, hundreds of, hundreds of meters. But standard measured is or taken is only grams per square meter. This one meter weight will decide the weight of the, the quality of the whole fabric. That is consistency of the bulk fabric or sampling fabric, whatever it may be. Okay. Grams per square meter. How to test, how to calculate by this? Here the thing is, before that I am telling you here is, in a testing method D3773. Okay. This is also there, D3776 also there. Internationally accepted testing methods done in third party lab that is approved by many global brands. Okay. And GSM is tested, grams per square meter tested in the lab, that is different. The party, the third party, other than seller and purchaser, the third party will say the fabric weight is this much. That is the third party will confirm what the fabric is sell, what the fabric is purchased by this method. And also, in the fabric mill, in the garment warehouse, where or in the garment industry lab or any institute, wherever fabric weight is checked by GSM cutter also. GSM cutter, immediate. Cutting machine, GSM cutter, 10 by 10 square centimeter weight. Immediate take it, checking, but after checking. That is different. But we don't have GSM cutter. GSM cutter will be GSM weight. But practical, as a textile technician, as a purchaser, as a seller, as a fabric handler, should aware of the calculation, basic calculations. This calculation will help not only to understand, to judge the fabric, and also we can have control on fabric weight. If any variation is there, we can adjust, we can manipulate the fabric weight by the mill technician or product developer and whoever who works, who develops the fabric, who weaves the fabric. 
Okay. These are the pa parameters, factors influence directly influencing the fabric weight. But other than this, many other factors also there to manipulate the fabric weight. But these are the basic. Those fabrics are so many parameters are there. Cover factor. Cover factor. Controlling the cover factor. That is tight and loose construction of this fabric. Allowing air spaces, interspaces in the fabric. Okay. Sometimes heat setting. In, I'm talking about any fabric to control. Sometimes textured yarn use, use of textured yarn. Whatever, so many things are there to add or remove to manipulate the weight of the fabric. And any manipulation must meet the end use, consumer use, it should meet the quality. Third party for testing results. Okay. And the purpose of the end use, it should meet the purpose of the end use. Okay. That will leave it. Now understand this how these factors are influencing. We don't know. We don't have any JSON cutter. In our hand fabric is there. And in the report count construction. EPI, EPI is there, power count at count is there. Yeah. And width of the fabric, we have to judge. We should know. See, grams per square meter, this is a square meter of the fabric. Now, this is the sample, this is the cell, this is the cell which you can see, this end is a cell which. Okay, and width of this one meter fabric is one meter okay. and okay now again in one meter how many inches are there 39.37 inches are there okay why we have to consider inches instead of meter because we are considering ends per inch, fix per inch. This we know. Okay. Now for your understanding, I will calculate here one normal fabric, regular fabric, say 20s into 20s divided by 150 into 60. Okay. This is normal. What is 20? This is a warp count. This is a weft count. This is 150 is the ends per inch and 60 is the fix per inch. And these four values we have. And second thing is crimp. What is crimp? Crimp is what is crimp? In the fabric, when the interlacement takes place, the threads, both warp and weft, are moving like waves. It's moving like waves. Okay. The straight, the straight fabric gets moved like this. So the actual length. Okay, this is one meter length is there. In this one meter length width, okay, the crimp means this is not a straight thread like a metal string. The, here it is making float like this waves up and down because of because of the fix is moving up and down. The thick yarn weft is moving up and down of the ends, and this is also moving 
Invert. Right? The if the actual length of the width of the fabric is one meter, if you make it straight, okay, if you extend, stretch this term, this is coming here. This is the actual length of the fabric. Yarn. And this is the actual length of the end. For our calculation, we cannot consider this one meter wavy length. We have to consider stretched, straighter thread. How much percentage? This is some extra percentage here. This is some extra percentage here. That percentage is called crimp. Crimp percentage. Crimp. Okay. Crimp. This is warp, warp crimp. This is weft crimp. How much to consider warp and weft crimp? Usually, it, is, it depends upon the product of end use, depends upon the views, depends upon the twill, plane, setting, different. It varies. It depends upon the EPI and the EPI also. It depends upon the construction, package, tight package, compactness of the ends, compactness of the peaks. It depends. But for our calculation, I am taking, for our understanding, I am taking length warp crimp percentage as 3%, width is, I am taking as 5%. Okay, here warp crimp three percent, weft crimp five percent. Okay, this is related to the other factors shrinkage that I will not tell now. I'm going direct to the calculation. Okay, now. Crimp percentage. This we have, this we have, this we have, this we have, this we have. Okay, next step. Now come to ends per inch. Ends per inch we have, this is a one inch length, one inch width is there. In one inch width, how many ends are there? What threads are there? How many ends are there? 150 are there. 150. Okay, how many inches are there? Into 39.37. So total, so total, how many threads are there? 150 into 39.37. How much? 5000. 90, 5905, point size, I am leaving 5900, ends are there, in 1 inch. Now, we will come here, how many peaks are there? Here, in 1, what is the PPI? 60 are there, PPI, in 1 inch, 60 peaks are there. So, into 1 meter, here 1 meter, 39.37 that is equal to how much? How much? 60 into 39.37 how much? 2,036 2 round 362 picks are there in, in width wise 5,900 ends are there and picks here pick how many picks are there 2362 picks are there in one square meter this is not enough we came to know that how many number of threads are there how many number of picks are there ends and picks now next step is we 
we have to calculate the current percentage. Okay, three percent. Say hence three percent is there. Okay. Now actual length. Actual length. Say warp length. Okay. Say actual warp length. How much? Say one end you consider one end one meter into three percent. One meter into three percent. Okay. How much it will be? How much it will be? One point zero three meter. One point actual warp length one point zero three meter. So how many? <coughs> one point zero three meter is there. Actual warp length. One meter. Sorry. Actual warp length three percent is there. Three percent. Actual left. One meter into what is the current percentage? Five percent is there. So this is one point zero five meter. This is actual length. Actual length. Okay. So how much? One end is having one point zero five meter. Okay. How many ends are there? Total length of the warp. Total length of warp equal to how many are there? Five thousand nine hundred five into one point zero five. How much? Five thousand nine hundred not five into one point zero five. Sorry, this should be one point zero three. Okay, five thousand nine hundred not five into one point zero three. How much it is? Sorry, five thousand nine hundred not five into one point zero three. How much it is? Six thousand eight two. Meter. This I'm calling as L, capital L. That is available length of warp in one square meter. Now, like this, total length of weft equal to how much? Oh. Two thousand three hundred sixty-two into into how much? One point zero five. What is now? Two three six two into one point zero five. How much? Two thousand four hundred eighty. Meter, sorry, inches. Okay. How much? That is one fifty yards are there. So meter. Okay. This is L. This L is for what? Is it for what? Correct. No. Now we came to know that to calculate warp count. To calculate warp count. Okay. Now first we go for warp count. Now this is we came to know that how much length of warp 
and how much length of f available in one square meter. Okay. So next step is what is the weight of available length of what? What is the weight of available length of weight? How to calculate? Work out. You cannot work out. Work weight. Work weight. Okay. There is a standard formula is there. That is equal to L e equal to capital L into small w divided by capital W into small f. What is that? N is the English count. Here, I am writing here. N is the English count. Capital L is the available length. And what is that? A small w is the unit weight and capital W is the weight weight of available and small l small l is the unit length. Right. Right. Now I'm coming here. E. Now we have English count. Count is the available length is there. What is unit weight? See in in a, in my other class I told what is English English count? 840 yards weighing 1 pound equal to 1 count. Here in this unit length, unit length is that is small l equal to 840 yards. And unit weight, unit weight that is small w equal to 1 pound. Okay. See, this is a, this numbers, this measurement was unit, unit mass and unit length are in British system. But now our fabric weight we are measuring in grams per square meter. That is MK system. So we have to convert this into meter in MKS. That is into 0.9144. How much it will be here? 840 into 0.9144. How much? 768 meter. And here, like this, and you know, wait here is LB is there. One LB that we have to again convert into MKS. That is equal to one LB equal to how many grams? 453.4 something. 453.5 it becomes. So I am taking round figure as 454 grams. Two point two LB equal to one kg. Okay, one L, one LB equal to four point fifty four grams. Okay, understood. Here, here. See, we have English count. Part weight twenties we have. Available length of the bar. 6082 6082 meters. Okay, next unit weight 454 grams. 
पंच कैपिटल डब्ल्यू वेट ऑफ द वॉलेबल दिस वे आर टू कैलकुलेट यूनिट लेंथ दट इज सेवन सिक्सटी एट मीटर ओके नाउ आई एम राइटिंग हियर अगेन एल ई इक्वल टू कैपिटल एल इंटू स्मॉल डब्ल्यू डिवाइड बाय कैपिटल डब्ल्यू इंटू स्मॉल एल Here, I am changing now. I want this W equal to capital N to divide by N. I am taking down into here. Okay. See now, put the values. What is the available length? Six zero eight two meters into four fifty four grams divided by what is capital of any but one count twenties okay into seven unit per count twenties in the unit length what is the unit length? Seven sixty-eight meters. Seven sixty-eight meters. Now calculate how much it will come. Shall we calculate six zero eight two into four fifty-four? That is six zero eight two into four fifty-four. How much the numerator is there? Numerator is given two seven six one two two eight. Then we calculate denominator twenties twenty into seven sixty eight. That is one five three. Denominator is one five three zero. Then now. Numerator divided by denominator. Okay, two seven six one two two eight divided by one five three six zero. How much it has come? One seventy nine. One seventy nine point seven. So total figure. Round off figure, I will write as one eighty. One eighty. This is grams. What is this? This is the weight of available watt in one square meter. Okay. This is one. Like this. Like this, we have to calculate another things. What is Shall we calculate here? I will write again here. I'll go directly here. This point. Left count. What is it? Left count. Okay. I'm writing directly here. This one. W. Equal to now yani into yani. Okay. Now put the values. What is the available it reaches in the square root of left? That is two four eight zero two four eight zero meter and unit of Unit weight four fifty four grams. Okay. Now what is the count? Twenties left. And what is the unit length? Seven sixty eight meters. Okay. Now calculations. Okay. Now we multiply denominators. 
what is reached in the finishing stage what is reached in the grey stage what is reached in the died stage what is reached in the finished stage what is actually result achieved in the third party lab or even the mill lab if any variation is there if the fabric consistency has not met they can judge they can manipulate suppose example i am saying 20 is 20 is count 150 60 is there the customer is customer wants 270 jsm fabric but the mill product fabric product developer technician gives this and complaints by this he has achieved 253 in the finishing plus or minus will be there plus or minus how much percentage five percentage whatever is achieved but things if to increase the gsm of the fabric what he needs to do whether he has to increase ends per inch or fix per inch or increase the size rate size he can manipulate by this he can manipulate he can make it manipulate cook the calibration cook the fabric or he can even manipulate in the count even though actual specific count defining count may be 20s but actual count practically the actual count may be 18s maybe 21 or maybe 22 or maybe 17 or 19.5 he can manipulate or even he can purchase still more what the yarn actually or he wants or even he can make the fine ok this is how the things in the first time will go going on this is only a basic calculation in the next class for your further understanding same calculation I will do for the lightweight JSM like cambric or oil whatever thing you know in the JSM thank you please subscribe this channel share it to your friends who are interested okay please give feedback thank you so much